What's up my Pongyos, Andy with Andy Vlogs, excited to share with you guys this content here. Today we're going to be going over a review of the OtterBox Defender XT for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now I've recently done a couple of videos here on the OtterBox case that was sold in stores at the Apple Store, you know, at the time of the 13 Pro Max being released. It was garbage, it was bowed, it was bent, I didn't like it, but I did want to give an honest review here for of an OtterBox case because a lot of you guys complain that it's not one of the best in the series. Well, this is. This is the Defender XT, which means that it does support MagSafe. There is another Defender case that does not, which means that they actually had to take out one internal lining in order for the magnets to be able to reach the phone in order for you to get that charge i use magsafe every day that's how i charge my phone so i went with the xt there is the variant so just note that i'll make sure and have links for both of them down in the description with that said this is not a sponsored video i just want to follow up and provide you guys a solution here that i think may or may not be good the title will only suggest that now they're saying that this actually pairs with the 12 pro max as well which i think is a little bit lazy first and foremost I'm also using, on my current case, I'm using a leather rugged patina from Nomad. This is the their leather case that I think is fantastic. I know that OtterBox has a leather variant as well, so you guys can check out those videos down below and links in the description. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the unboxing and review. A few things to note about the OtterBox here is that they use 100% recycled content for their cases and most of it is 30% post-consumer waste. The cases themselves are five times as many drops as what the military standard is, and that they have at least a 10-foot drop protection. We're not gonna be doing any of those kinds of drop tests because this is a very expensive phone. I have the 13 Pro Max one terabyte, which is a lot of money, so I'm not gonna be risking you know, cracking that screen. All right, installation instructions. And there it is. I picked this pink color because all the other uh, colors were sold out and out of stock for a number of weeks. I don't really care about the color, I just want the protection. Here's what it looks like. You can see, like I mentioned, this version has the cutout for the MagSafe so that, you know, obviously you can charge with the case. You can see the typical rubberized uh, rounded edges that make up all of the different buttons and whatnot. On the back side, bottom, you've got the slot there that protects the charger. You've got around the other side, um, the power button. And then you've got these two little grips here for a holster. If you wanted to have a clip holster that connects on the back, which is sold separately. You can tell here that this is made out of hard plastic. Looking inside here, um, the way that they engineer it, I think is brilliant, to be honest. Um, you know, when it comes to physics, you wanna make sure that you trap some air and make it airtight so that the air is used to help protect against the drop. And that's what they've done here. You can kind of see those grooves here that uh, you know provide you that buffer between the device and the case to trap in air to make it airtight. Um, on, you gotta make sure before you install it, you gotta take this ring out. This is um, what you place on top of your phone to give you that extra security upon drop. It doesn't like jump out of the case, but this also, you know, if it hits flat on the screen, this is going to be, you know, in between your phone and case. It's a little tricky peeling it out here. You have to peel back the rubberization here and I can't get my finger now. There we go. You kind of pull that back. It can give because it's rubber and then you kind of peel this out. You're gonna be putting this on top of the case after you put the phone in. Let's go ahead and apply the device here. It's gonna fit real nice. There's gonna be some gaps because that's where you're gonna be putting in that, that last piece. You'll wanna note here that having a screen protector is gonna make it a little more difficult to put the a guard around it. So it'll take some time here, but you're gonna to wanna to put the pink side down and then um, start from the bottom and go up. A little tricky getting it in and having the rubber kind of wrap back around it but with constant vigilance you should be able to do it okay I got the two corners here and then you kind of just shove this back into the recessed area that it's been manufactured with there we go easy does it this is what it looks like here 
Uh, again, you should be, you, you have a little tiny gap in between these two little uh, sections because of my screen protector, but you can tell that the screen protector isn't being impeded, it isn't being pushed off, I think it looks fine. Showing you around the, the phone with the, showing you around the case with the phone in it, you can see the, uh, the speaker grill as well as the charging ports are right there. You got this little tab here, you can add a wrist strap which is nice or if you want to put it around your neck. Um, I think that's a really nice touch. Around the side, you got the power button that's still nice and clicky. You got the groove that's big enough for the do not disturb button. And then you got your volume rocker. On the back side here, that hardened plastic with the OtterBox logo embossed into it. And you can see it is you know, very, very wide, not getting in the way of your camera, but it's also tall enough so that if it did land on the back side, it's gonna protect those um, it's gonna protect those lenses. Going ahead here and rubbing it, it isn't level because of that protrusion, but it is protected because of you know the engineering here. This is very, very impressive. This is this is nothing like that other otter case that I reviewed. This is something that I would highly recommend. Um, it does give you you know much more width on the side here. I mean, we're talking like maybe a sixteenth of an inch, maybe an eighth of an inch on each side. That's like a quarter of an inch wide on the top as well. And then on the back side, you're probably getting maybe a 16th or an eighth of an inch uh, in addition to the thickness here. But that's all intended because this is going to protect you up to 10 feet on a drop. I think that's fantastic. You do, you do also have that extra accessory that you can add if you want to clip this to your waist. But this is this is pretty impressive. Last part of the de demonstration here is showing you that this is MagSafe friendly. You just put the Apple MagSafe there and you can see the animation. It shows that it starts charging. That's why you're buying this uh, difference in the case. Uh, you are losing again a little bit more of the structure or thickness because they're having to gouge in that MagSafe little module part that's going to allow it to charge. You can use a third party as well. This is from the folks at iWalk. They provide you a 6,000 milliamp battery. It's fantastic. This is not a sponsored video from them, but it's something that I highly recommend. Push the button, it charges USB type C. It shows you a light indicator here on the back and it shows you that it, it's charging by MagSafe. That's gonna give you 7.5 watts and it even has a ring strong enough to hold up your case if you want it to be like a desk buddy, you know? You can do both. A landscape and horizontal alrighty uh, final conclusion guys this is a fantastic product I highly recommend this it is worth every penny uh, I didn't demonstrate here that it is drop resistant but you can just tell with it in your hand this is for those folks here that need a full enclosure in encasement for their phone because they're prone to dropping because you know they might be doing something more extreme with work they just need something that clips to their wrist that clips to their waist um, all of those things apply here and I highly recommend that you 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 check this out This particular case is the MagSafe friendly which we demonstrated and it does have a couple of extra little features that are really nice touches like the wrist strap hole as well as the protector uh, Module as well as the protector flap for your charging I wanted to make sure and do a follow-up here of you know an actual good OtterBox case Opposed to the one that I didn't recommend. This is one I highly recommend so if you got the cash, if you want something to protect you, go out and get this. This is a fantastic case. With that said, I have a couple of other cases up above or down below in the links in the description and the, and the cards for you guys to check out. Links for this product is also down below as well. This is not a sponsored video. Nonetheless, guys, thanks so much for watching. My name is Andy with Andy Vlogs. Subscribe if you want to see more. We'll catch you on the next one.